I'm going to approximate a circular arc by a cubic Bezier spline. I will draw the uh, arc with an arbitrary angle theta, and then I'll create uh, the control polygon and the construction which generates the spline as an envelope. All these points move along the segments that they lie on at the same rate. Uh, we characterize this with the parameter t. Uh, so they're all at location t on their respective segments. And the envelope with respect to t is the spline curve. And we can see uh, as we move t uh, that the segment in the middle is tangential to that curve. If I hide all this apparatus, I just have the dependence of the curve on the control polygon. Now, I want to set some restrictions on the control polygon. First of all, I, as I want to make the curve symmetric, I, can, I made the two opposite sides of the control polygon congruent. And I've specified the length of one of them as being A. And I'm specified that the sides are tangential to the circle. So varying A gives me a, a better or worse approximation to the circular arc. I can get a better one by insisting that the midpoint of the spline actually lies on the circle. Now, my circle has radius 1. So for the point k to lie in the circle, then the distance from the center should be equal to 1. Uh, that distance is this expression in A and theta, uh, the sort of thing that uh, an algebra system is useful for. Um, we can copy as text and paste into Wolfram Alpha and ask it to solve that that expression should equal to 1 uh, for A. Now, there's a slight problem with the solution that Wolfram Alpha gives is that it contains a cotangent. Uh, GX Web expects our trigs to be sines or causes. Uh, so we're going to ask Wolfram Alpha just to reconsider that answer and give us, and it will give us um, some alternate forms, one of which we hope has uh, just sines and causes. Indeed, that one does. If we copy that as plain text, uh, we can paste the result in instead of A into GX Web. And we see that the spline curve does indeed hug the circular arc. And it continues to hug the circular arc as we change theta. Uh, for acute um, angles, the approximation looks quite good as we go obtuse. We start to see bulges, and when we go reflex, we certainly see the bulges. Um, once we have the control polygon we want, uh, we need to know the coordinates of its vertices. That's how we communicate to uh, whatever piece of software uh, we are using. Um, the coordinates of uh, B and C are simple enough. Uh, D and E are a little bit more complex. If you don't want to uh, sit and copy these out, you can uh, copy as code. Uh, that would give you a um, piece of JavaScript. Alternatively, you can copy as Mathematica, which will give you the expressions as mathematical code.